Okay, so good afternoon. This is a recording on how to create your ePortfolio. You'll use your ePortfolio to show a compilation of all the student outline learning outcomes within the practical nursing program have been met based on those based on the things that you have added to the ePortfolio. So the ePortfolio using Google Sites is free. You don't have to do anything. The one thing you do have to be do is be logged in into your Augusta Technical College Google Drive. If you have an Augusta Technical College email, you have a Augusta, an Augusta Tech Google Drive. First, you want to make sure that at the top right-hand corner here that you are able to see the Mine is an E, but it should be your name, should be there, and you're able to see this E here. Um, and it should say your Augusta Tech email. If it is not that, you should be able to pull that drop down and manage and swap or add the account so that your Augusta Tech email is there. Um, the reason this is so important is we, as instructors, will not be able to see your ePortfolio unless this is under Augusta Tech. All right, so our step one is complete. Next, you're going to click on the nine dot grid here right next to your name. When that drops down, you're going to go down and find sites. If sites is not listed, you can go down and click more from Google Workspace or Marketplace and you can key in sites and it will pull up those sites for you. So because I have it here, I'm just going to click on it. When it comes up, it's going to show you any sites that you have created, you're the manager of, or you have the ability to edit. So I am going to show you that you're going to click the plus sign here first. and it's going to bring you up a brand new site. The first thing you want to do is go title this site. It can be whatever you want it to be. I would suggest that you make the site's title the same as your title page, um, just so that you will know where to find it. And it's just, it'll be easier for you to locate. But if you make it different, it's okay, no big deal. So I'm going to title mine. Uh, Dr. Story's page, and then I'm also going to name my title page the same here. Once I get that title page all created, I have the ability to, you'll see on the right hand side, you have insert pages and themes. You're going to see on your list of things that you need to do you're going to go to pages and you're going to have to create at least nine different pages um, your first page i'm going to go back because i'm not going to publish this but your first page should be Your first page is going to be your personal mission statement. And you'll see here that I have created my um, title is mission statement. And this is my personal mission statement here. And then I have added some other things just so you can see you can decorate it to make it um, genuinely your own page. Um, this page is optional. I just did it to show you it's okay to make this your own. Um, this is my family, and this is just an overview of my family and to give you some perspective on my life. Um, then you're going to, the ones that you are going to actually create is you're going to have ethical and legal standards. As you go through the program, we are going to give you some direction on 
what items you complete in the program that should be added here. You're going to have therapeutic communication, cultural competence, professionalism, safe, therapeutic, holistic, clinically relevant, and competent care, client education. Um, and I also have a place for professional work. Um, that is going to be more of your final course that you will have those things in. This is where my dissertation is, so if you would like to read that, you are welcome to. Um, also, success stories. Um, these are your own personal successes that you've had throughout the program. You're going to keep a place put a place in here to keep those successes. Um, it will be a great overview from the beginning of the year all the way to the end to see how that all works out. Um, and I also have a place for other students' portfolios, and I will show you a few of those in just a moment. Okay, so going back to once you create your pages, um, I will create just a page. I will not save it, but I will create one just so you can see it. I'm going to maybe call it um, video just because I'm doing this video. Um, video is going to pop up here, you see. You have three buttons here on the right hand side of that. You can change this page to your home page. You can duplicate pages. Um, you can see the properties to the page, or you can make this a sub page. So, a sub page would be if I wanted it to be uh, supplemental information under ethical and legal, I could make it a sub page where it just says ethical. Um, and then I'm going to go over to my insert. And go back to our pages and I'm going to click video. Um, okay. So you see video is here, video is here. When I go to insert, I have some different options. I can insert text box, I can insert an image, I can insert something directly from my Google Drive, or I can actually embed a um, a video from somewhere, um, YouTube video or something like that. Um, so I'm going to do one of each just so you can see what they look like. I'm um, also down here under layouts. This is your option on what your page looks like. So uh, that's my first layout. That's the second option for a layout. The third. So I'm just going to put one of each in there. Just so you can see how different it looks. Um, so here I'm just going to, I'm going to upload. I'm going to upload the Augusta Tech 60th anniversary logo here. No, it's not a video, but it's going to take us there. And then next I'm going to upload. I'm going to say images. I'm going to say upload. I don't know what this image is, so bear with me. Oh, um, I can go to my Google Drive here, and I'm going to go to my Google Drive and see if I have a picture. Okay, there's a picture. I'm going to add my nephew to the page. So that's his picture. And that's something directly from my Google Drive. I can also um, upload a document, uh, PowerPoint, anything from directly from my Google Drive to this page. I'm going to embed a URL. I'm just going to pick a text. Insert that web page there. Okay. 
I also have the option here if I don't like this background behind here I can actually change that as well so your heading your header type you have the ability to change that you have the ability to change your image here um, there we go that's our lab upstairs so I'm going to make that our lab and add some image so we did let me add a text box for you I'm going to say welcome to practical mercy Highlight, I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to send it to the center. Um, I'm going to make those words a little bit bigger. They don't look very big to me. And I'm just for good measure on the other line. If I wanted to move this around, I want to keep it, but I want to say I want to bring it to the middle instead of the top. I can just drag it and drop it. Same exact thing, if I decide I don't like the way the layout looks, I can just drag it and drop it back to that top. Got rid of it. <laughs> we can change the colors. You can um, pretty much do anything that you can do in a Word document to this. I can change the way the font looks, the different font. I can change, I can have subheadings, I have headings, I've got titles. So it's a, it has those same capabilities. Um, the most important part about this is when you get this page and you get your pages all looking how you want it, um, you've inserted all the information that you would like to insert, um, then you're going to go to publish. In order for this to be live and for anyone to view, you must publish your page. If your page is not published, it is not finished. Um, I can preview. So this is what my welcome page looks like. This is what that new video added page actually looks like. So it's just like a landing page on a internet website that you can actually view that. Um, again, make sure that you are hitting the publish to publish your information um, and then you have the ability here to hit share with others um, you're actually going to take your you're going to click here to the little looks like a paper clip you're going to get that paper clip it's going to tell you what your Google site name is, and you're going to copy this, and you're going to paste it into your discussion boards, and that is how we're actually going to be able to view your um, ePortfolio. So make sure that you are publishing first, and that you go here to the little paperclip, and um, make sure you copy and paste that link. One other important thing, under themes, you have the ability to change the theme of that page to whatever you want it to be. Whenever you change it, it looks a little different, kind of the same because I have a picture. You see the video changes around here. I can change the colors and what it actually looks like. Okay, I'm going to try it out. 
guys okay? Um, you have the ability to do those things. Um, you also want to make sure that if you are importing something from your Google Drive, you may not realize that you have this feature. But under each Google document, if I do not have it turned on, I'm not able to share everything. Even though I can see this here, I don't have my sharing turned on in my Google Drive for this particular document. So you will have to go to your Google Drive and I'll, walk, I'll go back to that. Bear with me one second. I want to get rid of what I've created. Just so it does not stay published on my site. Okay. Once you hit publish, I'll show you this before I go. It's going to show you two parts. It's going to show you the draft. And then it's going to show you what's currently there. So I didn't have a video page that was currently there. Um, so this is what it's going to look like now, which is pretty much the same. So I'm going to hit publish and that's fine because it's still going to be a blank page. You also can go here to that video page and hit delete. And again, I have to, because I made a change, I still have to republish that page or it will continue to look the same. So I'm going to show you in your Google. Going back to going back to my Google Drive. When you create a document, you want to I'm just going to pick any one. Once you create a Google document, you have the options underneath your um, what well, it asks you to you under your seeing button when that comes up and you go to again your paperclip to send the link you can shorten that but you also have the option to if you hit add collaborators when you go down to get link you have a you'll see that it has a restricted only people at it can open this link you always want to hit change and you want to change this to say anyone with this link um, because if you change it to say Augusta Tech only and you decide to give this to a potential employee employer in your leadership when you're in leadership they won't be able to see it because they don't have an Augusta Tech email but if you say anyone with the link, if you send them the link, they'll be able to see everything you have loaded. So now this questionnaire is available to anyone with the link to the questionnaire. So I can send this out any kind of way. Um, if I decided to send this to you in a reminder, if I decided to send it to you via email, I'm able to do that and you can open it and close it. Um, and complete it and send it back without um, having an Augusta Tech email. Okay. All right. So your most important things, again, make sure that you have 